So uh, thank you all for coming today. My name is Ron Frick, and uh, I am privileged to be the president of the Lycoming County United Way. And my original talk was going to be on the existential threat of viruses on um, the United States <laughs> economy and politics. Um, but given our, our recent changes, you've read plenty and heard plenty about that topic. So that is not the topic for today. But when I started 2020, I was at a... Uh, at a roaring 20s party to start the decade. And then the following day I was watching football and thinking about, dreaming about what our community might look like in the year 2020. And then this germ came and changed everything. And so uh, today I'm gonna talk to you about the power of community partnerships and how those community partnerships have really uh, transformed this community, uh, particularly over the last six or seven months. Um, so, uh, power is one word that we could use to talk about, um, about our community. And power means a lot of things to a lot of people. From an individual perspective, it may mean ego, it may mean money. Our economy, our, our culture, our media is driven by, by power. Uh, we're in an election year, so power uh, is a word that's used quite a lot. But the real power is in our communities. And so, uh, today, I want to talk to you a little bit about the power of communities and how those communities working together uh, through partnerships can really make a difference in our world today. So the United Way is an organization that works very heavily with partnerships, and our partnerships are important to us. Um, they are very important to our community. And while we don't fund every single partner in the community, we believe the overall global community is most important. Uh, as we work together, um, in, in, especially through this pandemic. The word alone comes up a lot, um, and we can't do it alone. We have to do it as a community with partners in our community. And so uh, the pandemic, the COVID-19 crisis has really put new meaning to things like the word alone. And because change doesn't happen alone, we have to work together and we will work together with community partners to make a real difference. Let me give you a couple of examples of how that has transpired over the last few months. Uh, our organization, in cooperation with many organizations in the community, have really given new meaning to the word partnership. For example, in March, we met with uh, our friends at the First Community Foundation Partnership of Pennsylvania, and we stood up the United Community Funds. That was a, a collaboration between two partners in the community who have been in existence for, in the case of the Community Foundation, over 100 years, and in the case of the United Way, almost 100 years. Um, we decided that it was, the, it was best to work together to deal with the issues around COVID-19 and how we could benefit the community. And so we stood up those funds back in April, raised a little over $800,000, and have uh, allocated and granted a majority of that to the community in one round, and we'll do that again uh, in a couple weeks with an announcement of the second round. The other thing we also did was we were, we were asked to participate with city government on the mayor's task force to look at ways that the United Way and our community could work together to deal with uh, issues around, around the pandemic. And then finally, uh, our largest employer in the community, UPMC Susquehanna, we worked with them as an organization to talk about how we could recognize healthcare workers, frontline workers, uh, writing thank you notes, putting notes on cars and things like that, just to get, just to get people to understand the value of this community. Um, three words really describe what our, what our community needs to do. Um, the first word is we need to be connected. Um, all of you here today are connected in some way in a community. We need to communicate, and finally, we need to collaborate. And those three things uh, really drive the partnerships in our community. And, and one of the things that I think is, is really important is to think about how do we as a community do things to, to thrive, to survive, um, and, not, and not to be alone. And so um, a couple of things to, to, to think about. One is, in order to have a good partnership, you have to have trust. Um, and it's really important to talk about things so that you can develop trust in a way that works for the not only the two partners in the in the partnership but also for the for the community the other thing is uh, rituals are important 
Uh, all of us who have lived uh, over the last six or seven months through this pandemic understand the value of things like family and of things like worship and things like dining and sitting around the table and talking. And that's really what makes partnerships successful is really being able to sit around tables, sit around, have coffee. And that's tougher um, when you're in the midst of a pandemic. So we as a community have, have seen the change uh, as a result of people not wanting to be alone and having uh, the community rally around those folks. Um, and so the other thing I want to talk to you a little bit about is, is the value of the people in the community uh, and, how those, and how those folks come together and really support partnerships like the United Way and like the partners that we work with, with every day. I want to tell you a story about an individual, a, a colleague of mine, who is the CEO of the Greater Philadelphia and Southern New Jersey United Way. Um, he is a, the lead pastor of the Arch Street Presbyterian Church in Philadelphia. He's the lead pastor of Vision. Uh, and this is a guy who lives in a community where the poverty rate is actually increasing uh, year after year after year. And the goal of that organization, of his United Way, is to, is to reduce or eliminate poverty in the city of Philadelphia. It's a pretty big job. Um, as a person who grew up there and moved here to Williamsport, we have our own form of poverty here, obviously. In Philadelphia, it's, it's three or four times as, as severe as it is here in, in our community. But Bill Golderer is, is a visionary. Uh, and Bill knows that working together through partnerships in the city, some that were in existence and some that have been created, are going to make a major difference in his community, and which is a lot bigger, obviously, than ours. Um, so the power of partnerships and community is, is significant. It's huge. Um, we know that change doesn't happen alone. We know that it only happens in cooperation with people in the community. And we know that the real difference in the community is made through the power of community partnerships. Thanks for listening.